Hi, what's going on, new cover lovers? This is, of course, your new cover boy, and this is, I, I guess, another episode of the Cover Boy Chronicles. And um, right now, today, I wanted to reflect on the fact that um, I said I was going to do something for Martin Luther King Day um, on Monday. But I've decided that since today is his birthday and he would be 85 today, I figured I would, um, I'm going to post the link of his, um, I have a dream speech that he made in, uh, on August the 29th, 1968, I believe that's what it was. Um, but yeah, it, it was in the 60s, late 60s, I believe that was what it was. I believe it was what it was. But anyway, I, um, I'm going to post the link underneath that. And if you don't get a little emotional, that's fine. You know, it's really to reflect. It's really to reflect for on everybody because everybody can really relate to the Martin Luther King speech. But I am going to give my own interpretation of the... Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech. Now, I'm not doing this in a sense to be illegal or to offend my people of color. But right now, as I've said in a previous video, we are not a community as we were before when Martin Luther King had that I have a dream speech. So, therefore, I feel the need to say that I have a dream. Okay, and that's why I titled this, I Have a Dream. <laughs> now, I have a dream that one day we all as people will come together united. United. Do you understand what that word means? United togetherness bringing uplifting each other the fact that you know people back in those days like if you've never been let me just get a little emotional with you guys before I get into my I have a dream like all the way I feel like when I had went I was I was a little boy and I had went with our church went on this like vacation um, for the youth and we all would go sing at different churches and things of that nature anyways so one year we went to Memphis Tennessee and we got to go to the um, National Civil Rights Museum if you don't go there when you're in Memphis Tennessee you have lost your freaking mind I'm so serious so they have like they have basically like updated and um, put everything there and it left it basically as if it was when Martin left to walk out the doors and he was assassinated. It's basically the hotel that he was assassinated in but it's all turned into a museum and they, they have a special part for where his assassination happened and you can go to where the square was and where the square is that's where he was standing exactly and to me it just seemed so like crazy that you know people granted I mean it, it hasn't gotten better since he made that speech granted you know things that have gotten you know smoother but you can't tell me that if you in a business and somebody's looking at somebody or like if, if I'm a businessman and you're a businessman of a different color and you feel threatened by me you know what I'm saying like automatically because of my skin tone or because I walk a certain way or put my hands on my hip or whatever the case may be you feel some way but I'm a damn good person at my job look at Philadelphia that stuff like that happens every day you know so like like I said it's not just the fact that nobody is a community as a people anymore. I don't feel like we have like a community of people that I can honestly say that they're still together. No, Latinos. To my, uh, to all of the yes, they are always a, a good percentage of them. They know how to stick together. They and and 
they're comfortable with a lot of things that we're not as Americans. And we're, we will promise these things first. Now, I'm not saying this against any of my Latino brothers and sisters or whatever the case may be. Because, like this speech says, love thy neighbor. And like the Bible says, love thy neighbor. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I don't wish no ill will against nobody. But my whole point is, we're not a community anymore. None, no, no race besides that one specific one. Everybody don't stick to, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, no, nah, I'm cool. You know, I, I'm, I'm cool off you. I, 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 I see what you're doing. I see what you're about, but I'm going to see what you're about from a distance. And if it benefits you, you all up in their face. But if it don't benefit you and they end up just doing okay, you like, oh, okay, I still see you from a distance. I apologize, you know, if my stuff is still blurry. Like I said, it's audio focus. So, yes. But I have a dream that we will all rise up above these influence of ugliness, rude, trifling behaviors. Like, I can't walk down the street and, you know, be with the person that I love without hearing somebody say something about me or him. You see what I'm saying? I can't walk out and be comfortable in my own skin. And back in the day, that's something that people couldn't be co comfortable in their own skin. And people have killed themselves over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a hate crime. And, like, why people exist like that is beyond me. You know? One would think that with the times of changing, people would grow out of the bullshit and the ignorance that they have in their systems. But obviously, people can't just shake it and grow the freak up. Like, I'm just, this is a more modern day of an I have a dream preach. Because I have a dream that eventually one day I will wake up and be able to say to my children that they will never have to go through what I had to go through growing up or they will never have to go through what my mother had to go through growing up or they will never have to go or go through what any of my people before us and our relatives they will never have to go through that they'll never have to worry about anything everything is taken care of for their lives you mess it up, that's on you. But basically, that's what a lot of society wants you to think that it's like that, and it's not. Look at how he said in his speech how we go back to certain ghettos and we do certain things. Granted, you know, perfect example in Indianapolis, they have this thing called the Indianapolis Black Expo. And they try and get people, black people together and act like they have common sense, they have um, uh, workshops, they have all types of things to, you know, do togetherness. And then at the end they have this big festival, right? They have the number one, number one, every year they have somebody dying. Every year somebody's getting into a fight. Every year some foolishness is going on because black people can't act together. Community people, not it anymore. It's like almost to the point where they have to have Indianapolis's finest. People don't even want to go out anymore to it. They don't. Because, and I, quite frankly, do you blame them? Do you blame people? That's just an example. I'm sure it's even worse in like different, bigger cities. Imagine, you know? Like, people, we need to get it together. Because if we don't, we stand a good chance of, you know, something really bad. <laughs> I dare not speak its name, but yeah. It's 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 not it's not cute at all, y'all. I, I don't I don't dig. I don't dig the way this has came out to be for a lot of people. And I don't like the way that people have still have to fight for their rights. And this is 
everybody's born into the same if you're born into these states you're born with automatic rights and then when you grow up you have rights taken away from you and you can grow up spit and polished you see what I'm saying that's not fair so I think that I've made a good point and um yeah, this is my little I have a dream speech. It wasn't as brutal as I wanted it to be, but I just, and I didn't really go as intense as I wanted to, but I did want to let y'all know that. So, what I'm going to do in terms of this, next, um, in this, at the end of this week, I'm, you know, the SAG Awards come on, so I'm supposed to do those reviews, but I'm going to do my reviews on Monday or Tuesday, either Monday or Tuesday, one of the two, um, because I have to go out of town, so, um, I will be back to do, um, another show after, after this weekend, and then, um, I have the Grammys the following week, and then in, um, um, February, I'm supposed to do, I know there's the Olympics, so, the Winter Games at least, not the Olympics, but the Winter Games, um, so, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything in terms of that because I'm going to be doing something really awesome for Black History Month. So be sure to watch that and um, tweet the show, New Cover Lovers, um, The Cover Boy Chronicles, my Facebook, my like page, my Twitter, um, my Instagram, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and y'all know what to do subscribe to the Spirit Soul Star, my YouTube channel. And, um, happy MLK Day.